Today we're talking about Tether Tools case relay system. All right, welcome to Photography Gear Spotlight. My name is Nick and I'm here with Larry and Sprague. Welcome back, guys. Thanks, hey. Nick. Good Happy to, to be here. So uh, we are sponsored by PAC, the Photographer's Adventure Club. You can find out more about that at uh, photoadvclub.com and Parkwood Studios where we record the show. So uh, we got some exciting new stuff here today. It's brand new, never before seen. We got to touch it and feel it before it's actually out or released Ooh, yes. to the Ooh, public. Good stuff. So, It'll be released by the time you see this video, but we're pretty excited because yeah. we're getting to see new toys here. So this right here in front of me is called the Case Relay EPS system. Um, and it stands for External Power System. And it's, it's built by Tether Tools, um, who's in our same building here right, actually, right. at the Phoenix Photo District. And uh, what this is for is, uh, it's basically a, a, a tool to be able to take extended Photographs, pictures, time lapses, things like that. So, um, have you guys have you guys got to play with this and look at it a little bit while um, we were uh, in the uh, break? Just yeah, a moment. Yeah, yeah. I had a chance to uh, to, to mess with it. I, I'm attracted to the bright orange colors. I should tell you that. I love orange. <laughs> it matches shiny, my mood. Shiny. Yeah, that's right. You know, <laughs> if you're out in the woods, you're not going to get shot. You know. So, so what it is is what Larry has there and what you have in your hand. It's a uh, battery pack um, mm -hmm. built by Tether Tools. Um, that part isn't the exciting part. Many people make these battery packs, right. um, but what the battery pack does is it connects into a system um, called the external power system. There you have it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Or EPU. I have, the, I have the power. Now what do you I do with power. it? <laughs> so what's, what's going on here in, in this kind of setup is you have a, a battery looking device that mm. goes into your camera. Okay. And then there's a wire. There's nothing in here, by the way, folks. This isn't a real battery. It just, it's. Yep, so that's you know, just your adapter. Just an adapter. Right. So it just so what comes right next into the is, slot. Is your wire here, which has a USB on one side and a plug on the other side. So that goes into there. So you pick out which that's camera right, battery you have. So this one's for a Lumix GH4. They also make them for the GX8. Those are going to be coming out soon. And then you have this little adapter going to a USB. Mm. So at this point, you can decide how you want to power the camera. Right. So um, I can go into the, you know, right give there. this to you, and you can plug it into the battery. And it's the left it. side has more power than the right side. There we go. And you see all the green light came on? Green light came on. So now you're powering the actual camera with that battery. So that's not all that exciting. You can do that with other devices. You could buy it at something else. What's exciting about this product is the piece in your hand right there, the case relay part, this. has an extra battery in it. Ah, uh, that, that was what I was asking about. Yeah, yes, you know. so there's a battery in there. What did we say, how many mega, um, milliamps? Was, uh, I don't have my back glasses on. 1200, so 1200 I, think. I think. So it's got a 1200 milliamp, milliamp battery, battery built into that. So what does that do? That makes this hot swappable. So where I see this being used, and I don't know if you guys would see this, but for our video show here, what's always happening, batteries are dying and right. cards are filling up. So well, now yeah, I this can- This goes down, I grab the next one. That's what you right. mean by hot swap. Like mm -hmm. now everything keeps running because there's a battery there. Yep, right, you can that, just drop that battery, battery keeps this one charged. As long as this one is charged, then you're good Correct. to go. When you plug it in and watch, the green light goes on on there. So plug it into one of those. Go ahead. I want the orange one. Go for the pretty orange D one. Uh, left the left far outside one has left, more milliamps. Left is better? Yep. All right, all right. So that, um, if that goes okay. on, and then, and then there's the, we've got yep, so two green lights light here. And so this is charging this first, and right. then it's powering the camera. So this will always stay charged while you have that plugged in. Well, right. Like and, it, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, this is drawing down from here. So once, once this becomes disconnected, it will draw this down to zero if this isn't plugged Correct. in. And then you can plug this thing back in. It'll charge this one back up and run your camera. Exactly, right. exactly. And they come in different colors. So if you're doing weddings or other kind of videography, you can get a nice black case for that. You can get orange cases. I'm sure there'll be other options out there. Um, now, what's the next level? So we're here in a studio. We're not at a wedding, so we right. don't necessarily we don't need to buy battery. a bunch of expensive batteries. We can actually plug it into 
an extension the cord. So then we can just run this right out of the outlet and uh, and plug it in. Yeah. To either uh, and plug that into the studio next door, so we don't have to pay for it. Exactly. So yeah. now you can plug it into the wall <laughs> with right. a DC you know. adapter. Yeah. yeah it's, and uh, and you sounds can sounds like nickels and dime, long. folks. But you know, <laughs> never underestimate the value. We use of that. a lot of power yeah. around here. A lot of yeah, photography lot of, going on. Yeah. That's so right. so there's a couple of different ways you could use that. Yeah. Um, so the way I see it being used, besides video, so video production that you can actually keep going because uh, the GH4 has a pretty big battery and the yeah. 5D that we're shooting the wide angle has right. a pretty big battery. Those last a few episodes, but our GX8s do not. So the GX8s and the Sonys and other cameras have smaller batteries and when you have the screen on the whole time, it's eating the battery, kind of like our phones these I, days. I think that's what, you know, the, with the mirrorless cameras, you've got now the electronic viewfinders and you're using the back screen a lot of times and you do go through batteries faster. Yep. And so this kind of thing, especially in certain situations like uh, time-lapse things yeah. or, you know, um, studio where you might be doing a lot of work or video like yep. we're doing here. Yep. <laughs> Exactly. Or you're one of you these nervous people who needs to shoot 10 frames a second of everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly on the price point <laughs> send of this. Them to the home. And, yeah. I'm not sure exactly on the price point of all of this, yeah. but I'm assuming um, these batteries here are yeah. like fifty dollars to buy a real battery right. and up right. for most of the cameras. So if this, you know, if I could buy one of these, which these are pretty affordable now, you know, if you buy them aftermarket, um, we got one at Costco for twenty bucks or something, and and that's much bigger than a small camera battery. So instead of buying five, six, or ten. Canon batteries, you can buy one of these and just keep right. swapping them in and out and stuff or plug it into the wall. So it, it, it's going to be, I think, a little bit more affordable to go this route. You're not going to have dropouts of you hear the camera click, okay, everyone stop, don't move, let's go change mm -hmm. camera battery three. Um, right. It's just, it's going to be smoother. So you mentioned time lapse. You're going for long periods of time, yeah. and I'm sitting there cringing when I'm using the GX8, going, "Oh my God, is it going to last? The Sony's have tiny well, batteries." We were, we were up in the John Muir Wilderness so about a year and a half ago, and uh, we were doing a lot of time lapse. And I left my camera outside the tent from 10 to midnight, but I know I got up to go check on it, make sure yep. it was still running. I actually turned it off at that point and didn't let it run the battery all the way down. Um, it would have been nice, you know, a little more weight to carry, but then I could have done some longer time lapses if yep, I wanted right. to. And star trails. So if you yeah. kept it going all night, you could have put it up, let it do your astrophotography, make your star trails, you leave it up all night and let everything rotate around us. That would be perfect for that to not uh, wear your batteries down. And, and well, a lot of time lapses done these days on rails and they're doing quite lo a lot of sequences and you're out, once you're set up, you don't want to lose that whole sequence. So you want to keep it running and having this extra value where you can hot swap to the next pack, you could you, you conceivably keep shooting forever until you run out of cards, I guess. Yeah. Well, the other thing is the new cameras from Canon and uh, Nikon and Leica, the batteries in those things are over $125. So that's that's some chips. And yeah. so, those, you know, this, this yeah, starts those, making a lot of sense, particularly if you're yeah, doing those, those kinds again, of shots. And um, I forgot how much I just, we just bought one, but they're between 20 and $40 and they're right. way bigger. At $40, they're pretty big, um, sizable batteries at, for these battery packs. So you can get them from Tether Tools or you can get them from, you know, someone else out there. It doesn't have to be, that's not, for, that part's not proprietary. Mm -hmm. This part definitely this part is. is. Yeah. Once you got that, you can pick those up anywhere in the world, probably. Yeah, right. So, it, you know, it's probably gonna be a discount to be able to get the whole system, but it's still gonna be, um, you can use, you know, as long as it's the right milliamps, you could use the, any of them. So, video, time-lapse, studio, star trails, um, we were talking about even photo booths. So people are doing photo yeah. booths at all these events and stuff. And you have like, say you just buy a cheap camera, like a, a T5i or something right. inexpensive or yeah. even smaller, a point and shoot, the batteries on those don't last very long because they're smaller batteries because they make a smaller body. Right. Um, so that might be something that you can pop this in and then you're at your someplace has electricity, use that option, plug it right, right into the wall. Right. You just take the battery out of the whole right. equation. And anywhere where you're gonna need a lot of battery power for a long extended period of time and I, I said the new mirrorless cameras with all the electronics tend to burn batteries faster so right, exactly. I think that's a real relevant thing right here. well you're getting about 300 shots per battery whereas on a Canon or a Nikon comparable you're going to get a thousand maybe 1200 so you know you need three times the batteries for right. the mirrorless cameras as you do the uh, Nikons and the Canon so yeah. this starts you know weight wise starting to starts to make a lot more sense yeah you know because this is what 10,000 milliamps and correct you now yeah. that's that's the equivalent of what do those Sony cameras have? Is it 1,200 milliamp uh, so. batteries? So yeah. that's that's 10 of those batteries, and so yeah. that's size and weight savings is pretty significant. Yeah. And so so pretty cool, pretty cool new toys that are coming out. Um, I've been told they're for Sony, Panasonic, Nikon, and Canon. 
Mm-hmm. I didn't mention that already. So, um, so pretty cool. New toy, yeah, new gadget to, uh, to play with. And you saw it here first. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. So check it out. This is called the Case Relay EPS, external power system. It is by Tether Tools. Um, it's new and hot and hopefully can help you know your workflow go a little bit smoother not have so many breaks in all of these types of videos and time lapses you're doing so so cool thanks for checking this out and playing yeah, around some new neat. toys with i me. like it toys slash tools I, yeah so it's, i think i'll take this with me <laughs> larry larry bring it back <laughs> so once again this has been our gear spotlight and uh we'll see you real soon keep an eye out for more photography shows on our youtube channel for free so thank you guys again we'll see you soon thanks nick see you.